What is poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video. So we are about to hop into a video by Black Feminine TV. I love this girl's channel so, so much. Her breakdowns and documentaries are so great. So when somebody actually hopped into my comments and told me to react to this video, I had no idea that she had done a video on this. So I was like, hell yeah, I will definitely watch this video and react to it because I love her channel so much. This one is Secret Jackson's Sibling, The Untold Truth About Joe Jackson's Love Child, Giovanni, Giovanni. So yeah, without further ado guys, we're just gonna hop straight into this video, so let's go. Joe Jackson is most remembered as the legendary talent manager and patriarch of the Jackson family, which included Michael Jackson, Latoya Jackson, and his youngest, Janet Jackson. Most people assume that Janet was Joe Jackson's youngest child, when in reality, there is a younger sibling who is a product of a 25-year-long affair with a secret lover. Her existence was kept a secret, despite the fact that she and her mother lived right down the road from the Jackson home. This is the untold story about the Jackson sibling no one talks about. Joseph Walter Jackson was born on July 26, 1928 in Fountain Hill, Arkansas, and was married briefly to an unknown woman. He then met 17-year-old so Catherine Scruce a year after his divorce, and the couple got married in 1949. Together, they had 10 kids, Rebe, Jackie, Tito, Jermaine, Latoya, Marlon, Brandon, Michael, Randy, and Janet. <laughs> Brandon was Marlon's twin, but the twins were born prematurely, and Brandon died shortly after birth. Joe noticed his children's musical talents, and he helped them become mega superstars. But he was seeing other women while Catherine was back at home taking care of the other kids, and she was very aware of her husband's infidelity. Joseph met a young woman by the name of Cheryl Terrell at a Christmas party for the LAPD in the early 1970s. Cheryl was a secretary at the police department in Los Angeles. There was a 20-year age She's gap crazy. between the two. Joe was actually the same age as her mother, which was 46 years old. But the age difference, nor the fact that he had a wife, stopped him from pursuing a relationship with Cheryl, and things moved quickly between the two. Catherine filed for divorce on March 9, 1973 with a Los Angeles County clerk. But because of her Jehovah's Witness faith, she withdrew the divorce papers and decided to stand by her husband. Oh, Cheryl gave birth to their daughter Giovanni on August 30th, 1974 the day after Michael's 16th birthday. Cheryl and Giovanni lived just five miles away in Van Nuys, LA, from the Jackson home in Encino, California. And Joseph would secretly spend most of his days over by his second family, but made sure he didn't spend the night. On the weekends, Joe would come over to tend to his vegetable garden at his second home. He was always busy managing his kids' careers, so he would get away with telling Catherine that he was away on business trips when he was actually spending time with his girlfriend and 11th child down the road. He made sure Cheryl didn't shop at any local grocery stores or shops to avoid crossing paths with the family or reporters. Mm -hmm. Giovanni always knew she was a Jackson child growing up and Joe reminded her every single time they appeared on TV. He would also give her tickets to her famous siblings concerts, but would never actually get to meet them because of tight security. He made sure she didn't talk about her family to anyone out of fear that the secret would be revealed to his wife and kids. But despite the secrecy, Joe and Cheryl had a pretty close loving relationship and lavished his secret family with vacations. Giovanni <laughs> often received gifts from her father, they went fishing together, often took trips to Disney World in Orlando, and he even bought his second family two German Shepherd puppies. The Jacksons didn't celebrate Christmas because they were Jehovah's Witness, so spending the holiday with Cheryl and Giovanni was easy for Joe. The other Jackson kids were forced to call their father Joseph, while Giovanni was allowed to call him Daddy. What? And although the family of three had a loving household, Joe was still strict towards mm. Giovanni like he was with his older kids, and she received beatings just like they did. Wow. She knew of her older siblings, but she did not know that Joseph was married until her mother told her when she was 11 years old. Catherine filed for divorce once again in 1982, but again decided to remain married to her husband and accepted Giovanni once she found out about her. Catherine finally crossed paths with Giovanni at a local nail salon when she was 14 years old. The secret sibling was eventually revealed to the rest of the family, but the Jacksons wouldn't accept Giovanni. 
The first person to reach out to her was the eldest Jackson, Rebe. According to Giovanni, Rebe introduced her to Janet when she was 15 years old, but the meeting didn't go too well. I was so excited to meet Janet because I really, really liked her Rhythm Nation mm -hmm. album. Sure. That was the jam. It was. And I it could was. Like, it relate to it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we met up at Rebe's house and we were having, you know, pretty good conversation until I said, Daddy. And she got upset. Mm -hmm. But the reason that she got upset was mm -hmm. because he did not allow them to call him daddy. A Jackson insider claimed that the rift between the family and Giovanni was due to Joe favoring her. Michael particularly allegedly had an issue with the fact that Joe never allowed his kids to call him daddy, but Giovanni was allowed to. She would eventually meet her other siblings over the years, but didn't meet Michael until she was 29 years old. In her early 20s, Giovanni and her daughter Yasmin moved with Joe to Las Vegas away from the family. Catherine would often visit her husband at the second house and got along great with Giovanni. She even let her and her daughter Yasmin live at the house rent free. Giovanni also visited the Jackson home in Encino with Joe several times. She said, She was really nice to me. I think she was very hurt at the time of the affair. That's totally understandable. No woman likes for her husband to go cheating on her and produce a child. It was probably heartbreaking. But you know, she had come out of that. She let me live in her home, me and my daughter. We didn't have to pay any rent. I worked to support my daughter and I took care of her home when she was not there. We have cooked together and have had good conversations." End quote. But in LaToya's 1991 book, Growing Up in the Jackson Family, she wrote that her mother, Catherine, often referred to Giovanni as a bastard child, a name that would later inspire the title of her book. In 1998, Joe's 25-year affair with Cheryl finally came to an end. In the book, she said, My mom was just tired of his shit. She just realized she didn't want to do it anymore. It's hard to get out of a relationship like that. My mother didn't take any handouts. She had a job all her life, bought her own cars, and he liked that quality in her." End quote. When she finally met her older brother Michael in 2003 at his Neverland Ranch for a Jackson family reunion, she claims he was standoffish and seemed more interested in playing with her daughter Yasmin. She said, He never acknowledged that I was his sister. There was no hug or kiss, not even a handshake, no physical contact at all. I wanted to embrace him. I thought that he would want to go someplace quiet and sit and talk with me and ask me about my life and get to know me a little better." End quote. After that, she had no contact with him and wished that they were able to form a real relationship before his death in 2009. Giovanni also believes that there was a great possibility that she could have stopped him from the excessive cosmetic surgery. When Michael died, I thought I was going to die. Literally, I was that sad. There's a great possibility that I could have made a difference, especially like the things he was doing to his face. Like, no. you don't need to get another nose job. You're starting to look crazy. For me, I mourn a relationship that never began. <laughs> exactly. Huh? Over the years, her relationships with her older siblings never really improved, and she says she still continues to be rejected by the family. But she did say that her and Janet have since made up. And on the subject of her mother Cheryl and Joseph's affair, Giovanni said, She was also very loyal. She never spoke out about their relationship. But in the end, what woman can take second best to another? What my mother did was not right. But people make mistakes. And when she met my father, she was young. She was in her 20s. She got stuck in that situation and I feel she wasted her life on my dad. End quote. Her mother Cheryl died in 2014, and Giovanni received well wishes from Catherine and Rebe. She lived with Joe on and off over the years in Vegas and saw him every other day until his death in 2018. She still remains close to Rebe and also says that Tito inspires her the most. Giovanni said, The door is always open and my phone is always there. They can always call me if they need me for something. End quote. But on the other hand, she also said they can all kiss her ass. Giovanni now lives in Atlanta, Georgia, and her book, Bastard Child, is available on Amazon. 
Were you guys aware that the Jacksons had an extra sibling? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and like this video and subscribe to Black Femininity TV for more content. Um, I feel like I, I've heard that before, that they had um, another sibling. I just can't remember where I heard that from. It was just like really small that I heard it. I know that I had watched the, um, the Jackson American Dream movie, that, um, that TV movie or whatever. I do remember that scene where um, Catherine had caught him um on the phone with the other with, with you know the lady or whatever but i did not know i did not know all the details of her living like literally up the street from them and shit and then him like literally having a whole nother family and relationship and then she had she had mentioned too um that it seemed like that he did kind of show a little bit of favoritism towards her because she he allowed her to call him daddy but he don't even like for them to call him daddy that is weird that is very very weird like how do you not i mean not saying that he should show them favoritism or anything but like these like they're literally making money for you like they're literally putting money in your pocket and you show and you treat them like they ain't shit <sighs> That is fucked up. That's real bogus. Like, how do you step out on your family like that? Like, he was just evil. I'm sorry. No disrespect. I'm sorry. I don't want to disrespect Michael and um the whole Jackson family or whatever, but he was evil. Like, and I, I said what I said. I'm not going to take that back. Like, because the shit that he done, he, the shit that he has done and that he has put them through, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's fucked up. And I, I just, I don't, I don't like it. But yeah, y'all, that was my reaction to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video. Bye.